evening or welcome back to Destiny. Right, so what we're going to do today is show you actually the uh, the bit I promised to show you last video, so apologies for that. Um, still seems a bit twonky, the whole gang thing. I um, don't know. It just oh, Every so often it just doesn't seem to work. Look at this. Look at how pro I am. I've got to admit, I've got so used to the way, <laughs> the way that this hunter runs now. Um, although I'm still a terrible shot with the old pistiole, but never mind. Um, but that melee, that melee is so overpowered, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that, I didn't even go near him. <laughs> oh dear me. I do like the frame blade as well, I think that's got to be one of the more amusing ones. Well actually, I'm, you know, I've not looked at the other sort of classes, like the Titan and the the Warlock, um, the Harry Potter, the Wizard. Um, what what specials do they have, like my, my throwing knife? Actually, I think the, the throwing knife is a subcategory, isn't it? It's actually like Knife Man or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know why I picked Knife Man, but I'm bloody glad I did because that throwing knife is bloody good. Anyway, uh, what we'll just show you now is um, is the escalation that happened in this area. So I know I've spoken about it a lot. Finally managed to actually find the footage where we do it. Um, this is this is just building up, so keep watching. Um, um, what happens is, is basically a sort of, sort of mini event begins um, and it's not actually an event now it could be mistaken as an event we did um, we had that discussion because we weren't sure if actually if it was something was wrong like the comm satellite had landed <clears throat> was it supposed to bring um, you know something with it I don't, I don't know you'll exactly. we'll see but look at that look at this rocket launcher I love it <laughs> it's my plasma cannon Just, oh, I love it Kerblau <laughs> Oh dear me, this is going to kill me, I swear. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, good stuff. Um, I think really the, the reality is is that yeah, there's going to be areas of the map that will just be for kind of you know, hardcore players who will be in the middle of either a massive crossfire or a relentless attack. Um, and I think in this particular example, it's just a crossfire. These two groups are fighting continually um, on purpose. It's designed to be... Um, but they're designed to fight, really. So it's kind of, it's kind of interesting how um, how they've done this. I'm I'm really excited for this because this to me is the beginnings of just much more than just having right. There's some dudes in this area and they're milling about. It's actually going to be the belief that there is some form of kind of AI here that actually says these guys are fighting. They don't like each other and they're fighting each other. And I can't, I really like that. I think that that gives the game massive character and depth. So looking forward to that um i think it depends how they do it though because they could do it in a bit of a, a bit of a cheesy way um for example they could have it so that it, like this it's just a very kind of you know open area formulaic kind of engagement between the two but i would like it to be instant so on any map at any point at any time these these dudes could spawn in and attack you but as soon as they see each other as well they'll attack each other now a three-way battle is a hell of a thing to be part of. Seriously, some of the best fights we ever had in EVE were because of three-way fights. It's not common, It's not. it doesn't happen all the time, but I tell you what, when it does, my God, it's good. So I'm really quite interested to see how um, how this develops, quite honestly, because this could, be, this could be something quite epic. I'm really looking forward to this. I would like to see instance to PvP as well. I know probably never gonna happen, but I think it would be good if at some point there was always the risk, you know, friendly fire and all that is on. So if you wanted to, you could actually fight amongst your, your compadres. That would be quite drama-filled, is the word I'm going to use there, because this could be quite amusing. Anyway, we'll see. I think it's going to be a, kind of an interesting one how this game develops in general anyway. I think it's going to be quite... Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this game to sort of show me some more. I've seen something really cool in the beta. I'm really impressed with what the game does. I'm really impressed with the open world. I'm really impressed with many of the features of this game. The next step is, well, what else have you got? What else have you got up your sleeve? Seriously, what else can this game do that's gonna make me go, wow? Um, the blink, I never actually unlocked the blink, for example, that's a little mini teleport that this character can do. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm really quite excited, I really am, to kind of push and see what this game can do. But I wanted to maintain that kind of casual element as well because I, I just remember that the second day it was out, I sat on my sofa in my living room and I put my, my PS3 on, I just sat down with a cup of tea and I just thought, do you know what, I'll just go and explore a bit. 
and two, three, four hours later, I was still playing, and I was mesmerized by how interesting and exciting it was. And I found so many secrets, and I found stuff that really was there to reward me for spending the time to go and search, to not fight, to not destroy everything in my path. It was more a case of, well, let's go and search. Let's go and actually you know, go around the entire perimeter and see what's there, and let's go and see what's down there, and let's go and see what's up there. And I, I thought that was absolutely excellent. It was just beautifully executed. Um, I just thought it was excellent. So if the game can continue with that, and it does it across four planets, is it? There's Venus, Mars, I believe, the Moon, Earth, and that's maybe it. If they can do it across those, I'll be very happy. Um, I just think it's going to be it's going to be awesome. It really. Is. So go okay, completely uh, shooting dudes with my gun of Grayskull by the power of Grayskull. Um, I've got to admit, I think that you know, I'm not that mad about that kind of special. I don't. I know the Warlock's got this kind of incredible Nova Bomb thing. Um, I don't know what the special for the Titan was. Actually, I don't know. So post in the comments, what was the special for the Titan? I have no idea. But the kind of gun filled with light. Yeah, it's a little bit cliche, isn't it? Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh dear, getting shot. <clears throat> this is kind of one of the amusing things of the game, I guess, is that yeah, there's always going to be something um, <laughs> a little bit cheesy about these kind of games. It's like somebody was saying it felt cartoony. And it's like, well, yeah, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't have said it was overtly cartoony. Um, I would have said it was more kind of uh, just, I don't know, difficult to explain, actually. There's, it's not really... It's not really any kind of genre or style. It's not certainly not cartoony in my book, but it's not designed to be kind of lifelike, if that's a fair statement. It's you know, it's not trying to be Daisy here. It's trying to be Halo <laughs> and the realism of Halo, which is all a bit super science fiction, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't bother me. I think it, it all looks good. Um, I'm just really happy that it plays as well as it does on the uh, the PS3 because. Um, it does play well. I'm really quite, you know, surprised how good it is um, in general. I think that would have been my kind of fear with this is that it just plays terribly on one of the consoles over another. And I think the reality is, is it plays ex you know, ex excellently on the PS4. It plays very well on the 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 the, the later generation or the earlier generation consoles. And I think really, you know, you're not you're not going to be inconvenienced playing it on a PS3 or an Xbox. I don't think it will kill you. If you do, I think you'll still have the same level of immersion. You'll still have the same level of enjoyment. It's just literally that better graphics card, really. It's that's the difference. Is on um, for PC users, this would be the difference between a, a really high generation graphics card or a perf perfectly normal one. It's all acceptable. But again, I would stress it's your call. It's you, know, you, you decide how you want to play your games. At the end of the day, it's only you that's going to you know, appreciate the difference. And if you're not going to appreciate the difference, then save your money. Um, for now at least, save your money for now, you don't have to rush out and buy a new console to play this, but um, if it's going to be something that you do invest months of your time in, then that's probably your answer there, isn't it? So, <laughs> I know we speak a lot about this, but it seems to be getting quite a lot of people quite hot under the collar. Um, and I think for myself, it's just more a case of, well, you know, at the end of the day, technology is technology, isn't it? You know, I, I've got a pretty crappy PC when I think about it, but it still plays most games perfectly fine. Um, I, you know, I am of the opinion that you only upgrade when you notice the difference. And I think at the moment, you know, Destiny is possibly one of the first games where you will notice that difference um, because it's a similar game. Um, but I think really you've got to have you've got to have more of a reason to maybe switch console to begin with. You can't you shouldn't just do it because you want to play a single game because I did that with Dust and it was a waste of money really. Um, given that now I think people are giving away their PS3s for forty dollars or forty quid rather. I mean that's pretty disappointing. You know, I'm really quite disappointed at that. Look all these dudes online, that's so incredible, isn't it? All these people. <laughs> oh, oh judge is full. See I got trolled by judge again. <laughs> so while we're waiting here, eventually we realise actually the baddies are coming. Look, you can see they've actually just spawned there. So while we're kind of arsing around, jumping around and stuff. Um, the the ultras have just spawned to my right. It takes me a while to notice it because I'm a knob. Um, look at this, even they are uh, they're watching. They were watching what was going on there. God, that grenade's powerful. Jeez, I never noticed how good powerful that was. Um, so as I'm kind of flimming around like a knobhead, um, all hell is broken loose down uh, in the valley. Or has it? Now I look at it, maybe it hasn't. I'm certain because I 
do you know what? It's funny when you when you kind of throw these videos together. I do think to myself, right? I, I scan it quickly, and I'm certain that this was the one where the bloody things attacked. Keep watching. Don't give up. Seriously, don't give up. Please excuse my terrible, terrible uh, editing skills. It is it is early, and I am hungover. Uh, <laughs> but I think I'm pretty sure it's this one. Um, and look at that. I've even got rockets ready for it as well. I tell you what, rockets are probably the one thing that you need to have a good supplier for these events always in fact i would say the rocket launches win events hands down pretty much single-handedly so this is why i think i am kind of of the opinion it's good to have a stash of ammo for everything even though it's really expensive for the rockets it is worth it when you think five shots will win you the event or lose you the event so you know it kind of it kind of pays for itself in a way well, there we are. Oh, there we go. Um, so, to be honest, it's funny really because there is a lot of people as well talking about this map as being um, a bit negative that this is the only map on Earth. Um, but one of the things I would say to people is that we haven't seen this whole map yet. We've only seen parts of it. Um, I hope that's clear because, yeah, there's whole areas where we couldn't get to because there were super high level things in the way. <clears throat> and there were even question mark question marks. You know what I mean by that? They were they were in the way, keeping us away. So I think there's actually a lot more to this map than maybe we realise at the moment. At least I hope there is. I think, you know, if it's not, then oh well. You know, it's not the end of the world. You'll have four more of these things or three more of these these ones to play. But I think at the moment, you know, I can imagine the first thing that they'll do is they'll add more maps. That will be literally the first thing they do because it's just it just makes sense to do so. Um, because that's the content that people will want. It's not necessarily more ammo, armor, gun types, etc. Although that probably will come. I think really the, the big thing that people will want is the more maps um, side of this. And I think maybe more open world maps as well. So we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm curious to see really what, um, you know, what's going to happen with this whole uh, game in general. I'm, you know, I'm excited to see it. Look at this again. Am I being trolled? <laughs> I think it's because I was being told on Skype, join the team, join the team. So I said, all right, join me then. Let's get Nano in as well. See, again, the team system was pretty good. Quite liked it. I liked the way you could just drop in as well. That was always quite nice. But my issue is the fire teams are just too small. I think that's that's my only negativity toward this. It's just the fire teams need to be bigger. Um, because otherwise, you, you're just constantly going to have small gangs. and. You know, we've got we could easily fill a gang of six every day, all day. That's no problem, and I think that's why I'm kind of hoping they increase it to six because that would actually be more fun. You know, instead of having randoms in this map, because that's what we've got at the moment, which is a load of randoms. I would like to just say, well, look, six of us are going to join, and we will be the whole map. I would rather it be like that. I really would. Um, but let's see. I mean, I'm. I hope they do. That would be a lot more fun. So there we go. Finally, jeez, the whole whole video just to end with that. I do apologise for that. But look, this is it. This is the enemies coming out of their kind of hidey hole. So um, this is where it starts to get a bit, a bit serious, super serial. Oh my god, look at that. How many of them are coming there? Now this is why I really, really need to get my rocket launcher out um, because my god, it's needed now. <laughs> Look at that, it's incredible isn't it? And they just keep coming and they get tougher and tougher, they're pretty difficult already. Um, and they will just keep stomping us until literally there's nothing left. Now, if we bug it off, they would just fight each other and that's what we should have done. We didn't actually just sit and let them fight. Um, oh, look at that, now that's what I'm talking about. But look, it's just all gone off, see that? Kaboom! <laughs> oh, I love this rocket launcher, it's so cool. And kablow, boosh! <laughs> We are going to do a montage, don't worry, but isn't that brilliant? And look, the wizard's out as well, oh my god, oh my god, it's just getting bad, it's getting really bad. And it just went, it kept getting more and more, they just kept coming. Um, and to the point where eventually they just were insta-jibbing me, as soon as I spawned they were insta-jibbing me. Um, and yeah, it just got messy, continually messy. But look at this, it's frantic, it's fun, it's a challenge, all of a sudden the difficulty level's gone way up. And that has got to be, again, another great indicator of what a good game this is going to be. I just think I need unlimited rocket launcher ammo and I'll be fine. Join us next time as we carry on shooting those dudes. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.